What's up guys and welcome back to Soft Final Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone Season 5. Here's Station Gym in Season 5 and there's a few things that I want to talk about to get smoother gameplay experience with this game. Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 is coming out really really soon so I will make an optimization guide for you guys. If you are new here make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here if this actually worked for you and hit that bell notification icon if you want to see an optimization guide for Warzone 2.0. Now let's jump straight into this. I'm not going to make this video long. I'm just going to make it short, sweet and simple and I'm going to go over the steps that you're going to need to know and I'm going to prove it to you and show it to you all right as you can see I'm in the lobby right now and I'm doing about 117 113 let's say 120 I'm doing max there we go 123 max FPS in my game in the lobby and these are the settings that I'm currently using right now I'm just going to show you so I'm going to go to graphics going to go to quality these are the settings I'm using right now at this very moment so I'm just going to show you these are the settings that I'm using right now okay so now what i'm going to show you now is this okay this is with this fps that i'm doing right now 120 123 as the max fps right is with my advanced options being on its default settings i have an intel machine i have a 9700k cpu now a lot of people are talking about halving your cores to get more frames out of your game so i'm going to prove this to you right now so now my game is running at its default settings. I didn't half my cores yet. It's running at its default settings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. So all you're going to need to do is go to your start over here. And then you can just go to this PC or wherever you go to go to your PC. You can even just open up this folder over here. However you do it, just go to this PC over here. Go to documents, go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, go to players, and then go to the advanced options over here. Now, as you can see, mine says five. This is my default settings. I have an eight core machine, all right? It's a 9700K. So now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to half my cores of my CPU, all right? So now it's four. So all you're going to need to do is go over here and then save it. Now there is a way if you want to go back to your default settings then all you're going to need to do is do this. You right click on it and delete it. Once you open up Call of Duty again, it's going to make an advanced option folder for you from overs from scratch and it's going to be at its default settings now i just half the cores of my cpu so obviously if you have an eight core machine go ahead and put it on four if you have a 12 core machine go ahead and put it on six just half the cores of your cpu especially intel users this might work for ryzen machines it might work for amd machines just try it out if it doesn't work for you with amd or ryzen then just go to your default settings now ladies and gentlemen i did show you my fps what i was doing with its defaults so now i'm going to be showing you what i'm doing in the lobby with halving my cores in the advanced options all right let's jump straight back into call of duty all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm back in Call of Duty right now. And as you can see over here at the top left corner, it actually increased my FPS by halving my cores. It actually increased it. So I do highly suggest you go ahead and half your cores if you're running an Intel machine. If you're running an AMD or a Ryzen machine, you can go ahead and try and half your cores. If you do get more FPS out of your game by maybe showing the FPS through the game's options or using, you know, a NVIDIA MSI Afterburner, then you can actually see if you're doing more FPS. Now I'm actually going to show you, I still have the exact same graphic settings over here. I have the exact same settings. I haven't changed anything. I only halved my cores. And that's the only thing I did to get more FPS out of my game by standing in the lobby. It is actually also better inside the game while playing. It doesn't matter where you are. Halving your cores actually makes your game run a little bit smoother, a little bit better, and you get a more stable FPS. You get an increase in FPS, and that's what people want. People want a smooth gameplay experience. I'm doing about 10 more FPS. You could say 15, sometimes 20 more FPS by halving my cores of my CPU. I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. All right, the next thing we're going to need to do is go to options over here and you're going to go to graphics. Obviously, you're going to keep this at full screen mode. Please go ahead and put this on full screen. Do not change it because if you start changing it, you are going to get input latency and input lag and it's going to really suck playing the game in different modes. All of these over here. Put it in full screen and leave it in full screen mode. All right, obviously, this is going to be your native monitor, the screen that you're currently using. This is going to be your graphics card that you're currently using. And then this is going to be the refresh rate of your monitor. If you have a 60 120 144 to 240 hertz monitor go ahead and push it all the way to its highest that it can now ladies and gentlemen a very important note is if you do push the refresh rate up okay you push it all the way up 
What it's going to do is it's going to drop down in FPS. It will drop down in FPS because you're obviously playing the game at a higher refresh rate. You will start losing frames. But by changing that advanced option, by halving your cores, you can get more FPS out of your game. There's a few things I'm going to show you inside Windows and inside the video control panel. If you are using a video graphics card, what you can do to get better frames out of your game. If you are changing your refresh rate from... 60 to the highest that it can go to if you have a really good monitor let's say a gaming monitor for instance or whatever the case might be right obviously this is going to be your native resolution i can't play my game at 4k i'm not going to change it to 4k obviously not it's a multiplayer game not a single player game so i keep it at 1080p now a lot of people play at 1440p and stuff like that the higher you push your resolution the less fps you're going to get but like i said before there's a few things you can do to get really good fps with a high resolution and a high refresh rate all right dynamic resolution you're going to disable obviously you're going to leave this at 10 you're going to keep this on automatic vsync you're going to disable unless you want to cap your fps to the refresh rate of your monitor or you're getting screen tearing like that it actually shows you a preview of what it does all right once you're done with that you're going to go over here where it says custom frame rate limit keep this on unlimited Brightness, I highly recommend changing this from a stock default setting, which is 50, all the way up to 60, so you can actually see the modern warfare symbol over here. Keep this at 2.2, it's always been at 2.2. This you're going to disable, and then this you're going to disable as well. Now, a lot of people has told me, why don't I use this, okay? Now, there, there's a reason. There's a big reason why I don't use this, okay? The reason why I have this disabled is because my cpu and my gpu keeps up with one another okay now if your gpu can't keep with, up with your cpu or your cpu can't keep up with your gpu because you have a newer generation cpu and an older generation graphics card or an older generation graphics card and a newer generation cpu yes i know it's quite complicated but if you know you'd have one of those machines where your cpu is much much better than your gpu then go ahead and try out enable or enable plus boost all right if your gpu is much better than your cpu then go ahead and try either enable obviously or enable plus boost one of these two options is going to help you out but if you're running a machine that is neck and neck with components basically you're running a really good cpu and a really good graphics card and they pair well with one another you can go ahead and disable this this is what this option is for that's why it's here that's why it's in call of duty warzone it's why it's in every single call of duty in fact once you're done with that you're going to apply these settings and you're going to go to quality over here obviously the field of view is your own personal preference i like mine at 120 because i can see more of my left and right hand side i can actually catch people easier and i could see more on my left and right hand side that's the reason why i have my fps like this but it's your own personal preference camera movement own personal preference but i put mine on lease render resolution keep this at 100 don't push it up if you push it up you're going to lose fps if you push it down your game's going to start looking like dog trash you obviously don't want that streaming quality you're going to put this at low texture resolution you can keep this at high or you can keep this at normal there's no visual difference in the game but there's actually an fps increase in the game by putting this at normal i'll leave mine at normal right now i actually will get a little bit more fps inside my game by keeping it at normal by playing the game by being inside the game not in this lobby where this menu is for to change settings so go ahead you can keep it at normal and you will do a little bit more fps out of your game go ahead and do that this over here you can keep it high or you can keep at normal as well you can also apply this yes the game is not going to look the greatest but it doesn't do much in the visual effects with the game itself particle quality you can go ahead and keep this at high you can even put this at low it's your own personal preference depending on the machine that you're running right i keep mine at high it runs the game perfectly fine with my machine that i'm running bullet impacts and spray obviously you're going to enable this it does not impact fps at all Tesla I do highly recommend you go ahead and put this at all because just in general if you zoom through a site far you it's going to start waiting to render in the things tessellation right so you you want this to be on all please go ahead and keep it at all don't change it leave it at all this over here you're going to obviously enable because you want to see how you can shoot someone's face off or arms off or legs off whatever the case might be it's a nice feature doesn't do anything with fps keep it enabled this one you're going to on demand text streaming go ahead and disable this you do not need this restart shady installation i'm going to get to just now full mix strength i put mine on 1.00 there's a reason why i do this okay it's because i keep nvidia dlss on balance that's the reason why i have this like this if you do not have no video dlss all you're going to need to do is obviously if you don't have this option at all go to anti-analyzing and put it on this and put this all the way down like this and have this like this if you do not have no video dlss now ladies and gentlemen if you 
are running a card that doesn't have NVIDIA DLSS and you use anti-analyzing, go ahead and choose this one or this one. You should be good to go. Don't go lower. You can, but I don't suggest it. I don't suggest this. I suggest this or this and you should be good to go. Now, if you are a NVIDIA user like me and you have NVIDIA DLSS, right now at this very moment with every single card that's out there for rtx cards go ahead and put it on balance and put this at 1.00 this you're going to disable you do not need this it's a multiplayer game you do not need this you do not need this go ahead and disable all three of these things all right shadow map resolution you can go ahead and put it all the way to low a lot of people complain about or just have a big ass debate about enabling this or disabling it at your own personal preference i'm not going to go over these two options try it out enable it disable it own personal preference right particle lighting you can put it low you do not need this in this game you don't dioxic ray tracing this isn't a single player game don't enable it you're going to lose fps ambient occlusion you're obviously going to keep this at disable i keep this at disable it's my own personal setting all right so you can go ahead and put this either on both or on this or on that go ahead and test out your fps go ahead and go to the options put your fps up here at the top and see when you start changing things like this by putting it on both if you're losing fps or increasing fps it's your own personal preference no one has the exact same machine right i keep mine on disable and i keep this at disable as well a lot of people complain about this as well oh why do you put this at high why do you disable this why do you do this why do you do that i do it because i want to have a good frame rate in my game and my game needs to look good as well so i go ahead and disable this with my machine i go ahead and disable it completely and then i apply these settings now ladies and gentlemen once you apply these settings and you have these settings like this you're going to scroll all the way up and you're going to click on restart shady installation after you click to restart shader installation it's going to come up here and it's going to restart your shader installation it's going to optimize performance during gameplay once it's completed you need to re restart your game completely you need to go out of your game and come back into the game so restart it once you've done all of these things if it asks you to run your game in safe mode please go ahead and say no because if it asks you to run your game in safe mode and you say yes it's going to change your settings back to its default settings and you won't have these settings that i just showed you to do right now it will just go back to its defaults you won't have these settings anymore then you're going to have to do it all over again so if it asks you to run in safe mode please go ahead and say no all right ladies and gentlemen let's jump straight into NVIDIA control panel and Windows settings that you can change to get better performance out of this game. Let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. And the reason why I was talking about the 60 hertz monitors and the 120, 144, 240 hertz monitors and running your game at 1440p, you can go ahead and change these settings to run that resolution, that refresh rate. You can actually still get a smooth gameplay experience by doing this. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card like me, go ahead and right click on your desktop, open up NVIDIA control panel and let NVIDIA control panel open. Once it's open, you're just going to go to adjust image settings with preview and go to use the advanced 3d image settings it's going to say take me there basically if you click here it's just going to take you over here all right now i highly suggest you go ahead and pause this video and then just copy all of these settings that i have right here there's one thing that's very very important that i want to go over is this one over here it plays a very big role inside nvidia control panel if you are using a nvidia graphics card all right if you want more performance out of your game and you're running at 1440p and you're running at let's say above 60 hertz go ahead and put this on performance please just go ahead and put it on performance once you clicked on it just go ahead and apply it this plays a very big role as well power management mode please go ahead and put this on prefer maximum performance and then this one over here which is OpenGL rendering gpu go ahead and select this and then go select your graphics card all right ladies and gentlemen once you're done with that all you're going to need to do is just apply these settings and you should be good to go all right now we're going to close out of this we're going to go to the next step all right ladies and gentlemen the next thing we're going to need to do is just go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter you're going to go to update and security and make sure that your windows is up to date click on it if you are running windows 10 windows 11 whatever the case might be please go ahead and download the latest versions of your windows updates please go ahead and do that because if call of duty is updating you're going to need to keep your windows up to date on a regular basis as well please go ahead and do that once you download that click on the home button and go to privacy over here and then scroll all the way down to where it says background apps now a lot of people have this on over here please go ahead and turn it off because you do not need this it's going to run in the background and it's going to use resources like your ram and your cpu you do not want any bottlenecking in your game at all all. you do not want your machine to use resources in the background while you are playing your game okay 
Common knowledge. All right. Awesome. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to the home button over here and you're going to go to gaming over here. You're going to go to gaming mode and you're going to go to graphic settings right here. Now, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. A lot of people might have this and a lot of people might not have this. Now, there's two reasons why I'm going to talk about this. Number one, if you are a streamer and you play Call of Duty and you stream on Twitch, YouTube, whatever the case might be, go ahead and turn it off. If you don't stream and you only play the game and that's about it, go ahead and turn it on. If you do not have this option, don't worry. All you're going to need to do is click on the browse button over here. Go to where your Call of Duty is installed. So I'll just click over here and show you where it is. You're going to click on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and then click on this one over here, modernwarfare.exe, not the launcher, the exe file, and you're going to add it inside here. I already added it. As you can see, it's right over there. You're just going to click on it once you added it, click on options, click on high performance and say save. Now, once you're done with that, ladies and gentlemen, you can just close out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, once this is all changed and everything has changed and you did all these settings, all you need to do is restart your computer and then jump straight into Call of Duty and you should have a smooth gameplay experience. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for your new year. And as always, I just want to help the Warzone community and peace out.